Esteemed members of the State Commission, the backup crew of Expedition 63 is ready. All right, please don't misinform. We have one question. Go ahead. Steve, for NASA PO, uh, later this year, the ISS program will mark 20 years of continuous human presence in space. How significant is that, and what is the lasting legacy of the ISS? Uh, that's uh, it's pretty amazing. I was fortunate to be in the office when we launched the first crew in October of 2000. And Having the opportunity to be up there for the 20th anniversary is quite an event. I mean, when you think about it, about a third of the population of the world doesn't know the Earth without people being able to live off it. So we've been continuously living in space for over 20 years, and that's truly amazing. Hopefully, we'll continue for years to come. So that, that legacy alone is significant, but the science and research and the uh, international cooperation we've exhibited with the station Hopefully that legacy will continue as well. It's amazing. Thank you. Done? Guys, could you please shake hands? <laughs> please look at us. Thank you. Maybe the commander needs to. Esteemed chairman of the State Commission, Prime Crew of Expedition 63 is ready for the final exams for the Russian segment. Good morning. All right, guys. Shall we begin with the final exams? Please select your questions. Well, guys, we wish you good luck, success in everything. Thank you. Could you please stand on the balcony? Could you wave? Thank you, guys. Good luck. All right, and they have completed the part on life support.
Chairman of the State Commission, Expedition 63 Prime Crew has completed their simulation training for the final exams. This is your last day, guys. Well, I would like to say inaudible. Are you ready? Ready? Who is first to ask the question? My question goes to the Russian crew members. So you just a little bit of time ago were the backup crew. Was it something that you did not expect to become the prime crew? Of course, it was a surprise. We thought that we would be flying in October 2020, but life happens. And any backup crew is ready to become prime. And sometimes it actually happened at Baikonur. But we were lucky. We had some time for the news to actually settle in. Were there any changes in the schedule of your training? No. Well, some changes were uh, in regards to uh, medical uh, research, because we were to prepare for those experiments in six months, but we are ready. And I would like to ask Mr. Cassidy about SpaceX. Upcoming flight of demonstration mission two of SpaceX program. You will be on ISS this time. What do you think about it? What are your expectations about this flight? Well, it's an exciting time to be on the space station with a potential two companies joining us up there, and, and particularly in our increment where we'll have uh, the Demo 2 mission. Looks like it'll be arriving in the summertime or in May. And uh, my two good friends are on, on board that thing, and I'm really excited to welcome them as people, but also welcome them as a partner to the International Space Station program. Thank you. So, Chris, uh, following this first question, how do you plan to integrate the first commercial crew into the workload as an expedition crew? Yeah, so that's a good question. The, the, um, the bulk of that integration will happen on the ground playing teams, but the, the daily interaction between uh, Bob, Doug, and myself will be pretty easy. We've, we've worked together for many years. We all, the, all three of us know what's expected of us on the space station. So I don't anticipate any challenges at all as we bring them on board and we start rolling with the flight program. You took your qualification exams yesterday. And my question is to Ivan. So you used to, t to prepare for those questions as a backup crew, but you had to take them as a prime crew member. Did you feel any support? Of course I did. Of course, our instructors were uh, monitoring me closely. And you have a very um, experienced commander. Of course, I'm very lucky. One more question. A question for Chris Cassidy, please. Uh, looking at the uh, beginning of a commercial uh, cruise, their spaceworks and uh, visiting vehicles and sites on ISS, how challenging your, your mission will be? Well, all, all missions to the space station have their own unique challenges. Ours, I think, will be with the uncertainty of the arrival of the, and the timing of, of the commercial uh, launches, particularly with SpaceX. And as the planners try to put all the puzzle pieces together for the uh, activities that need to happen, I'll do my best to get as much work done as I can. Uh, but with one person up until SpaceX, we'll just have to make some hard priority decisions on, on what activities we can accomplish and what we'll have to wait until we have more crew members. But either way, it doesn't change the fact that every day I wake up and try to get as much work done as I can. Thank you very much.
Thank you.